Hello Year 12, I'm Mr Haste and I'll be starting at the Langton in September as subject leader for politics. This summer represents a really good opportunity for you to explore the subject and to deepen your understanding of political processes, beliefs and ideas. In doing this you'll become familiar with some of the individuals who shape and have shaped the world that we live in. I'm looking forward to meeting you next term and discussing your take on what you've seen, heard and read over the summer. According to the UN, there are 195 countries and 7.7 .7 billion people on planet Earth. Believe it or not, these countries, these individuals, don't always agree on everything. So politics is the art of resolving the disagreements in society. Otto von Bismarck once described politics as the art of the possible. Political scientist Harold Laswell described it as who gets what, when, how. As Mr Eagle said in week one's video, in year 12, you'll begin by focusing on how the UK is governed and the workings of our politics. Furthermore, I want to reiterate Mr Eagle's point about how important it is to develop a, a really strong working knowledge of modern British political history. Follow developments from around the world as well, as you'll study global politics in year 13, but also because there are so many really important and interesting things occurring. In this week's video, I'll give you a quick introductory guide to developing your subject knowledge and exploring key themes and topics independently. Read as much political material as you can. I know some of you will be reading around the subject already, if, if so, fantastic. Expand your horizons further. If not, now is the time to start. Secondly, range. Take in a wide range of material. By that I mean challenge yourself ideologically. If you read The Guardian, try The Telegraph, if you read The Spectator, try The Economist. Consider the perspective of the author or journalist. Try and find a contrasting view. Explore different types of media as well, be that radio, print journalism, TV, think tanks, websites like YouTube, Twitter. Plus, keep up to date with current affairs. What is a political response to a news story? Consider how the news influences politicians and the way they behave. Consider how politicians try to influence the news and the news cycle. So here's a list of recommendations from me of things that I think you'll really enjoy over the summer and I think will help you develop your subject knowledge as well. Watch Prime Minister's Questions. It's broadcast live from the House of Commons on the BBC and it takes place at midday on Wednesday. As politics students, try to watch the news with the more in-depth coverage and in-depth analysis. Channel 4 News and BBC Newsnight are really good for this. BBC Question Time involves politicians, journalists and commentators answering questions from members of the public on the issues of the day. BBC is generally a good starting point. There's a politics tab on their website, they have their own parliament channel. Alternatively, Piers Morgan's Good Morning Britain includes political interviews and is very different in tone to the BBC Morning News. Please watch both, see what I mean. Some websites are free, some charge. The Guardian is free. Um, some, some websites offer you a number of free articles before charging you. These include The New Statesman, The Economist and The Spectator. YouTube has some amazing stuff, all for free of course. It has some news clips with fiery debates and some great documentaries which will support the development of your working knowledge. BBC Radio 4 has a Today programme in the morning, a very comprehensive news programme. And if you ever miss that, it's available on the BBC Sounds app. It also has some excellent politics-based podcasts. Twitter can be really useful for learning about key political figures. My top tip, start by following your local MP, Rosie Duffield, follow Boris Johnson, follow Keir Starmer, Ed Davey, Nicola Sturgeon. Every time a story breaks, you'll see the contrasting reactions of the different party leaders. Follow Donald Trump on Twitter. Follow Joe Biden. When you read for pleasure over the summer, make it politics related. Whether you want to read fiction, like George Orwell's 1984, which is brilliant. Um, historical, Andrew Marr's A History of Modern Britain, is well worth a read. And I know Mr Eagle's recommended the television version of that already to you. A political diary, Alistair Campbell's um, diary is a great and chart the government of, of New Labour under Tony Blair. Um, or, or political biography, and, and there are plenty of those out there, um, and some are well worth a read. Um, this is a wonderful habit to get into, reading politics-based books for pleasure, and it will really get you thinking. Um, 
extra recommendations from me include Andrew Marr's Children of the Master and I really enjoyed One Minute to Ten by someone called Dan Hodges and it's a fictional account, a semi-fictional account of the um, three leaders of the main political parties in their preparation for the 2015 general election. Political comedies can be a really good starting point. Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister set during the 1980s are brilliant. They explore the power dynamic between a fictional government minister and the civil service who often run rings around the elected ministers of the crown. This influenced the thick of it, set during the era of New Labour again, um, about how ministerial advisers employed by the party had a growing role. Do bear in mind that the thick of it does include a lot of swearing. Oscar Wilde once wrote that life imitates art. These are the type of TV shows that have seemed to preempt certain real life political developments. MPs have been known to quote these programmes when addressing the House of Commons. Current affairs based comedies like Have I Got News For You, which is one of the ways that Boris Johnson originally became a household name, um, are really good. TV dramas like The Crown on Netflix can help give you a sense of key political developments. I definitely recommend Brexit and Uncivil War on Channel 4. Um, that's definitely well worth a watch. Keep a diary of key events and news stories that break over the summer. If you can write down which topic they relate to, this is going to be a wonderful resource for you to use next year. Using examples is a, is a key skill when studying for a politics A-level. And if you've got case studies that you can use from this summer, particularly with so much going on, that's going to be a wonderful asset and, and something that you certainly won't regret doing. Lastly from me, Year 12, enjoy. This is a wonderful opportunity for you to explore the literature that interests you the most and to pursue the lines of critical inquiry that particularly intrigue you. I can't wait for us to get started in September studying for this amazing A-level and I really look forward to meeting you then.